Hello and welcome back. Let's take a look at one of the best in Linux top 10 for this year and really any year. Linux Mint, the Mate edition. Let's take a look. All right, so we're going to be installing this inside a VBox with Windows 10 as the host. Linux Mint plays very nicely in a virtual box. Of course, we will choose English to install this. Keyboard layout English. You should install you should you should install third-party software for your multimedia apps applications. If you are running this just to test, you don't have to do that. But yeah, if you want to run this every day, definitely click that and continue. Recommend you have a separate machine to fully appreciate the power of Linux. Uh, pick up an inexpensive ThinkPad. Erase this and install Linux Smith is what I choose here. Do not choose this option if you are doing dual boot. Don't do that. Again, pick up a second machine. ThinkPads are great. Uh, if you like what you see in Linux but don't want to mess with installations and fixing bugs and all that but are still happy or seeing some things that make you happy with Linux, consider getting a Chromebook. It is Linux-based, something called Gentoo. Works pretty good if all you do is a lot of web-based applications. Chromebooks are fantastic or as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, it's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So I'm typing in the information here, who are you? I just type in test, test. I picked a short password, three digits. Obviously, don't do that. <laughs> if it's going to be used every day, pick a longer password. I've always liked these welcome screens. Uh, welcome to Linux Mint. Uh, just a nice added touch, you know, if you are new to the world of Linux. And even now, I've been doing this for 13 years. I still like these welcome screens. They give me a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. Or oh, wait a minute, that's my wine I'm drinking. Never mind. <laughs> now, these welcome screens are very, very nice. And you will notice if you choose to install this uh, Linux Mint, you'll notice that the install process and updates is usually much faster in Linux than it is in Windows. Again, if you want to install a Linux-based operating system, ThinkPads are great. Uh, at least four gigabytes of RAM, refurbished ThinkPad for about $200. I have a link below in the show notes if you're interested. And you can support the channel by shopping on Amazon. Browse the web, of course, with Firefox, Netflix, YouTube, listen to music. Spotify Rhythmbox has been around a long, long time, at least since 2006 when I first got involved with Linux. Works pretty good. Check out Rhythmbox. Watch movies with VLC Media Player. Yeah, VLC is good. Manage your photos. GIMP is great for editing photos. Stay connected. I occasionally use uh, Skype. I don't use the rest. Be productive, of course, with LibreOffice Suite. Install software. 30,000 free applications from the software manager. Wow. Run Windows software if you really have to in VirtualBox and Wine. Customize your desktop theming. Customizations. Yeah, that's the power of Linux. Updates. Find help. Linksmith, from what I've seen, has a very nice help and friendly help form. Friendly form. If you've had bad luck with Linux Mint forums, you can always check out the Total OS Today technology channel. Okay, here I'm, I am installing the VirtualBox guest editions for a full screen. This should be a much more pleasant experience, and it is VirtualBox experience, and it is in Manjaro, at least for a full screening with the guest box editions. Welcome to Linux Mint. You should read this, especially if you are new to all this. It's not hard, but be patient. Take the time to take the first steps and read the uh, documentation. All right, so this is the default desktop. As you see here, you may have seen this before. If you can navigate through Windows, you can navigate through this. Right click to change, change the background wallpaper. Lots to choose from, you know, from light to dark to everything in between. The default is the dark wallpaper here. Let's choose something light and warm and fuzzy again. Let's choose this one. Why not? And there you go. Well, there is a panel here at the bottom that can be moved to top, left or right. Uh, Linux Mint is famous for its applets. Little bitty shortcuts on the panel. The weather report applet, the weather applet is the best still after all these years for Linux. No fuss, no mess, easy to set up, 100% reliable in my multiple tests. 
and I live close to Pittsburgh, so I'll choose Pittsburgh. And there is my weather report. Again, simple, it just works. Very nice. Moving along here, we do have Firefox as the web browser, the terminal. Don't be afraid of the terminal. It's not that hard to learn. And the file manager, Kaha, or Kaja, I think it's Kaha, C-A-G-A. -A. Very simple to navigate through. Again, the uh, default colors for this is green. That can be changed. If you don't like green, you can change that. Don't panic. It is mint theme, so you will have that green color starting off. It's okay. I don't mind it. I think I prefer teal. Yeah, lighter green. All right, well, we have some shortcuts on the desktop. Again, navigation through this, not a problem. Very easy. Let's click the menu, the Mint menu, the now classic, fantastic, in my opinion, Mint menu. Again, Rhythmbox, fantastic music player. I've used this in different distributions. Always reliable, don't have too many issues with Rhythmbox, it just seems to work. Simple to use for all of your MP3s. All right, let's move on back to the Mint menu or the Mate menu. You can click between all applications and favorites uh, as you see here. It looks very nice. Default out of the box. Very nice. Very easy to use. Very easy to understand. Accessories. The usual here. Uh, nothing... Um, Nothing that really sticks out in terms of, hey, why is that in there? Uh, the GIMP photo editor, fantastic for both Linux and Windows if you're into editing photos or creating uh, logos. I've created quite a few Total OS Today logos over the years with the GIMP. Works great. Powerful tool. Back to the Mint menu. Internet. I use Thunderbird email quite a bit. Office, the LibreOffice suite, sound and video. Of course, VLC, a fantastic media player for both Linux and Windows. So check it out. VLC, I don't think it's ever let me down. Yeah, quite rare. System tools. We can take a look at the system monitor. Using less than a gig. Very nice. Lightweight. It just works. Back to the menu again. All right, let's move along here. Universal access, administration, backup tools and all that. For backups, I don't use software-based. I use um, yeah, external hard drives. I like to keep it simple. It's just less work. The Synaptic Package Manager, a powerful, powerful tool for installing and deleting software, adding repositories. You really should learn this. Don't panic if you've never used this. It's not that hard to learn. But yeah, one of the best package managers synaptic all right back to here administration again everything you need to get started after install the update uh, manager here you should read this also follow the instructions again it's not that difficult it will ask you to perform set up system snapshots or uh, backups again I prefer hardware based external hard drives backup and backup again have an external hard drive for a backup and have a backup of the backup just in case. You can never have, never have too many backups, right? Preferences. Yeah, let's see. Let's go to startup applications. If you want to speed up the startup process, you can delete certain uh, programs. At least I won't use, I seldom use Blueberry. Flat packs, I don't really mess with. Um, yeah, the Mint Welcome, I personally don't need it. If I was going to keep this, uh, or screen reader, don't need it. Again, you can, re you know, remove these or uncheck these to speed up the startup uh, applications. Quite simple. All right, I will not be updating this since this is just a test. Why don't we, uh, well, let's change the theme. I, I know a lot of you, some of you, like dark theme. And there you go. You want dark? You got it, man. Nice dark theme. And yeah, this is nice uh, also. Pop-up settings to the top right. Very nice. 
So as you can see, the Mate desktop may, may look and feel dated, but it just works. It just works. So, hey, I will recommend anything that just works, right? Why not? All right, this is the, uh, of course, Firefox web browser. Why don't we, uh, why don't we finish up using the browser? Let's go to Bandcamp. And um, my dad sent me a gift last month. He recorded a song in beautiful Calabria, Italy. Uh, he says, here, son, this is for you to help support your channel. The song is called Ciu Faciti Nu Favure. Do us a favor, as in politicians, do us a favor and do your jobs and do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, it's an Italian parody song. So enjoy it. Buy a song. <laughs> Buy a downloaded digital track and support the channel. Thanks. Take care. Tutte, tutte quanto canuscemo, è lo patrono do governo, solo quello la comanda. Oggi paga tutta beve, ma domani che lo sa, solo lavoro non ha fatto, io vai sputa tutto in bacio.